Rooms Tube. It's Sandy, the Sunroom Stitcher. And it is 207. Let's do a repeat. Hi, this is Sandy, the Sunroom Stitcher. It is 207 on Saturday afternoon, um, September 17th. And you're seeing me as the typical mess that I always am. Yay, mess. Pam Rosenberry, I saw that you'd subscribe to my videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you subscribing. And I hope you continue to, excuse me, watch my videos and enjoy them like I enjoy everybody else's videos. So, it's been a week. Um, seven days, I think. A week, seven days. A week or seven days. And uh, it is the most absolutely awesome, gorgeous day here in the Kansas City area. And um, the sun is out. The skies are so blue. And the temperatures are really nice. Or and I got up a little late this morning. It was like 8.45. And I had planned at 8.45 to be already done grocery shopping. So, <laughs> needless to say, I sat at my computer for another two hours. And then I got dressed, and I went to CC and Company. Yay, CC and Company! To spend a lot of money. <laughs> and um, ran into Lee. Yay, Lee! Hi, Lee! And uh, she had to check out all my stash that I bought. Stash, you say? Yeah. Great stash. Anyways, um, so on the way home from work, I did, uh, from work, on the way home from CC and Company, I stopped at the grocery store and it was just madness in there with kids and people littering up all of the aisles. <sighs> And not only that, and I told Animal Control they should be ashamed of themselves. They had the most adorable puppies and kitties out there. I wanted to bring them all home. <laughs> I would be divorced when my husband came home if I brought home all those puppies. But there was a, it looked like a chihuahua, but it's, I mean, it was small and had that little snout like a chihuahua. But it sort of reminded me of a pincher. And then there was a four-month-old, and he was big. Um, not as big as Allie, but getting close there. And he was four-month-old, a brindle-colored dog, mixed dog. And he was sweet. And I felt so sorry for the one that looked like the little pincher, the mini pincher because he was just shaking so oh I would have wanted him to bring him home so I hope that they all get good homes really and truly I do and you know I would think about getting a third dog but Allie being as funny as she is um, I'm not so sure but anyways, I'm wondering if my face looks thinner. Does it look thinner? From a distance, it doesn't. Maybe up close, it will. Does it look thinner? No, I've been follow. I follow Weight Watchers uh, three days in a row. I'm really proud of myself. Which brings me to the next. Uh, which brings me to the next thing. Um, I was wondering if there would be anybody who would be interested in like a support group on Facebook like stitching away the weight and some people who are on Weight Watchers or other diet plans and who like to stitch and um, we could enable each other and help each other along. If anybody's interested in something like that, let me know. and. We can do, or we could open up a page or a group. So, anyways, um, this week has been a tiring week, and um, of course, Della's back to work. Yay, Della! And um, I 
Um, just some challenges there. There's someone who is always on my last nerve. Laurel, you know who I'm talking about. And um, so, anyways, but it's, uh, I thought Friday would never get here. And then Friday, work on Friday, it, oh, oh, well, we had some excitement on Monday. The police showed up at work, and they led some guy away. I know who the guy is, but uh, apparently he was a suspect in an attempted murder, poisoning his wife with antifreeze, and he blamed it on his four-year-old child. Now, I always thought he was a creep. But, um, yeah, he's a creep. So, wow, that was, that was some stuff at work. And, um, let's see. Orin's at church, and then he's going to a memorial service. One of an, uh, an elderly lady from his church passed away, so they're going to have a memorial service war. So, anyways, well, let, let's get, let's get into the progress on my... Mirabilia, um, my Mirabilia, um, sure, I haven't stitched her at all this weekend, but that's from last week, and of course the brown part of, ah, let's do this, can we do this, the brown part up here, I'm not sure, I'm still not sure, I think it's like part of a laurel, you know, like a vine um, with flowers in it. And then, of course, this blue thing that looks like a horn. It's really the sky. And her face and her neck. So she is coming along. And um, I'm very, very excited about this. I, in preparation for my... Um, See my fat chin? Um, for doing Destiny, I thought I would try. I didn't like scroll frames because they were so unwieldy and horrible for me to stitch on. I hated them. So I thought I would try one that would sit on the table. Now, I know there's all kinds of neat ones out there. But I'm not sure if I like it, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I got this one from um, 123. It came today. It's a Frank A. Edmonds lap and table stand. And I just got done putting it together, and just using my fingers and this to get, get a good grip on it. But it is uh, eight and a half by 24 inch scroll and I think um, Destiny with the is 19 inches and then I have 6 inches of excess on either side so I think that if I fold it over that it'll fit and um, it was pretty easy to put together it was only $19.99 and I thought if I don't like it I haven't wasted a lot of money not that twenty dollars isn't money, but we could spend hundreds of dollars on one. Um, so it was easy put to put together, and it's got three heights or holes for three heights, and um, it is uh, split. The scrolls are split from all all the way over here to about maybe an inch and a half from the end so they're actually open and flap it'll be really easy to insert fabric in it so well that's sort of wacky why is that doing that oh it's because of, okay got it It's the stand part. 
So that, I'm excited about this. And um, I have got the one package that I got from 123 today. Um, it doesn't have any of the charts or anything that I bought. They're in a different package. And I just bought I bought some beads and some of my favorite needles, the Peacemaker 22. The missing color of floss for Destiny. See, it looks brown here, and when I look at it, it looks like almost got a purple cast to it. Isn't that funny? And then I bought me a couple new uh, packages of um, Thread Heaven. So that was in the package that I got from 123 today. And I'll bet on Monday I get the other one because it's shipped. It's just haven't. hasn't come yet. It ships second. So, um, what I thought, I'm not sure um, about it, uh, whether I'm going to use the fabric that's coming or I'm going to use this. Um, but they did not have the Lag Laguna or Lugana. They had the Joblin. 28 count in black and I thought that I instead of stitching black stitches the the black I would just leave them blank since the fabric would be black so I'm not quite sure and I figured because I'm, what I want to do is I want to do a floss toss and I want to decide. I don't want anything to distract from destiny. And for those of you who... Oh, hacky doodles. I don't have it out here. I took it in. Um, I'm just going to show you the picture of destiny just in case you didn't catch it on my last video. But, so that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do with that. And you can actually see through it. I don't think it's going to be, it would be difficult to stitch on. A lot of people don't like to stitch on black. But especially out here in the sunroom, you know, um, there's enough light that it should be, it should be a lot easier. So, um, very excited about this can't wait to get started on it and Sandy Jo outdid herself yes she did you can probably see I got sawdust on me from putting that thing together trying to put the screws through and the hole inside of the holes had pieces of pieces of wood okay now I haven't pawed through this because I got busy with my lap stand this is what I bought today. It is the Gypsy Queen by Nora Corbett. Why do I do that? Nora Corbett. When I was a little girl, my 72-year-old Slavic grandmother raised my sister and I while my mother went to find herself. Read more about Gypsy Queen on the inside. So, um, in this package and is the fabric and it's permanent linen. I'm not crazy about permanent fabric. I don't know about you. And then I've got um, three skeins of the water lilies and the beads. So don't ask me when I want to get it done. You know I'm not a prolific stitcher, to say the least. 
and I bought, they were having a uh, Rosewood Manor trunk show. And I patriotic quilt. And that's we the people of the United States in order to to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure ensure tranquility, you know that. And then in each star on the outside is the initials of all fifty states. And there were some Veldani threads in there. I really like that. I like patriotic themed things because my family, as many families, we have been involved in every single war that this country has had. My, my, um, I had one ancestor that was one of the settlers of Jamestown, and so. I go way back. I'm one of those plundering, pillaging, raping European people. You know how that goes. And I liked this also by Rosewood Manor. It's uh, two, Dreaming of Tulips. I love it. And I got my Christmas ornament magazine. I haven't been able to look through it. I'm really excited about that. I've got every single one since they first started coming out. And I like this. Carriage House on Main. I don't know. I just like it. Um, I got this by Blackbird Designs. Stitch by Stitch Mending My Heart. I really like that. And then you wouldn't know it, but on beach time. I like that. That's... I love the... the little sea critters down there. So... This was a free design here by Rosewood Manor um, that she sent with the trunk show. And there's, uh, it says, all the flowers of tomorrow are in the seeds of today. So, and then I got, since I bought um, Rosewood Manor uh, design, I got a coupon from CC and Company. For a 30% off uh, the framing of one rosewood uh, design. And it doesn't have an expiration date on it. And I got this. I got this. I got it. I got it. It's called One Nation. And I'm sure you've seen people who've stitched it, but I. Love it. I need to put more nitro seed in that little sock. But it's got the um, 50 states in uh, the stripes of the American flag. I just think that's muy cool. I spent a lot of money. I spent all the money that I earned on <laughs> per day. I know! Sandy Joe, you maniac, you! Just... It's an awful short ticket for that much money. <laughs> I know, I know! The biggest part of it was the... was the Lugana. Anyway, can't let Orin see that. 
So my plans for today will be stitching. Um, at the store I bought some marinated chicken breast and um, I'm going to cook those up with some, I don't know, french fries or something like that. And um, we're going to have a good week. I've only got two more weeks to work until I have my one week vacation. I'm very excited about that. Forgive me here. I don't want, usually like to do that. But I've got a funny taste in my mouth. And I've been drinking these Premier Protein drinks. They're two Weight Watcher points. And they're really very good. But they also have vitamins and vitamins and stuff in them minerals and vitamins supplements and I think that that's why why that some got this unusual taste in my mouth because I've been drinking them I've got 30 grams of protein in each uh, each bottle but they're not cheap that's <laughs> the imagination but I the vanilla ones are good and I strawberry and cream ones are good too so um, I intend on having a really good week. Um, it's nutty and crazy out there. I just Maybe it's just me because I want to go out and do my errands and just come home. And it's like people just everywhere. Everywhere. Traffic is horrible. Um, I have lived here for... Uh, most of my life. Um, my dad was in the service, so my fir the first 17 years of my life, we would move away and then come back here because my grandfather worked for Western Electric, uh, my mom's dad. My mom's parents lived here. And so um, I went to kindergarten, or no, kindergarten here, went to uh, first grade, second grade, and then uh, we moved away and I came back my senior year in high school. I actually went to three high schools my senior year. Yeah. So, um, it's, this is home. I, I, I love this town, but it has grown by leaps and bounds. And I have to tell you, it's not perfect, but um, the, it's building, I mean, constantly building um, new homes. From the most humble of homes to the most expensive of homes, we got top-rated schools here. Um, there's a, a variety uh, of um, stores here and restaurants. Uh, we have a Sprouts, Hy-Vee, and Price Chopper. I wish we had um, like a Schnucks or something like that here, but we don't. I wish we had uh, more grocery stores. There are some different grocery stores in the city if you go into Kansas City. But um, this is really a nice place if you want to raise kids. Yes, there is crime here, not like there is in the city. Um, but they don't, they hush it up a lot. I, it is covered up a lot. But this used to be such a small town. Um, and now it's huge. It's huge. There, um, what was the last, I think the last census there was close to 100,000 people in this town. And um, in area, it's the third largest city in the state of Missouri. Um, Cole Younger, if you're familiar with the Younger James Gang, Cole Younger lived here. Um, and also the Jazz Fusion, um, artist, he Grammy, like 13 or 14 Grammys, Pat Metheny. Um, Pat Metheny is like two years older than I am, I think. So, um, not a lot of people are from, not a lot of famous people are from Lee Summit, but um, it, um, it is rich in history. And during the Civil War, it was um, actually part of the burn area where the Union, the federal soldiers burned out uh, the towns 
um, trying to get rid of the bushwhackers. So um, for a while, there was nobody that lived here. Um, you had to live. You had to live in independence. Um, just around the independence. You had to be in the independence to be able to stay back there in the 1860s. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of history here, and um, it's just a really nice place. And I feel safe here. I. I know there's crime and stuff that goes on, but you just have to have, have, to have faith that the Lord will watch out for you. And um, I was watching a YouTube video, something about the Mandela Effect, and I don't know if you guys have heard anything about it. Um, it's new to me, and um, what it seems to be is that it just reminds me somewhat of... Um, People trying to change history but they're saying that it has something to do with the CERN colliders and um, or uh, other dimensions I don't know what it is but it, it's really strange very strange um, I want to get a book and read about it and um, but I was watching he's a very deep thinker just a regular person he was talking about it and he said that it seems that the people who are duped by the change in history seem to be the people who are not of faith. So it just is all really weird and sounds like matrixy, you know? Anyway, I don't know if it's true or not. It's strange. So, anyways. Well, that's about it from here. And um, I really, really hope you guys have a good week. And, um,. I love all of you dearly, and I hope that you have a blessed week, and you stitch and stitch and stitch, and I will talk to you again soon. God bless.